Hi everyone, Kevin Eikhoff here from Kevin Eikhoff Ministries. Today I'm going to talk about an interesting subject. And as you well know, my ministries are really about helping relieve pain and suffering, trying to bring you back to the homeostatic spot for your body, your mind, your soul, so that you're in that homeostasis, the perfect place to be where the body, the mind, the soul, everything is all coordinating and working properly. And lots of us don't have that. Lots of us are on the path for trying to relieve that pain and suffering and live a better life. Today's episode is on cannabis or marijuana. It's legal in many states, at least statewide. It's not federally legal yet. Um, it needs to be moved from a Schedule One product to a Schedule Two product. Schedule One drug means that drug has no real medical uh, value at all. And that's not really true at all about cannabis. Cannabis has tremendous, tremendous values. And I'm just going to speak briefly about um, the three different kinds of cannabis that you can get, which are uh, stativa, uh, indica, and a hybrid, which is a combination of the both. And depending on those three types of things, um, it can depend on how that will treat you. And, you know, a lot of CBD is legal in all states. You can get CBD legally anywhere. Um, it's not the psychoactive component of cannabis. Uh, that's usually the THC. And today I'm going to talk about the label and some of the products, just briefly not going to go in depth about it, but I will give you an idea of how to read the label, what that does for you, because certain terpenes in the product are what helps you relieve certain conditions and symptoms that you may have. But to just show you initially and briefly some of the products that are available, this is a cream. It's You can get it in a lotion as well, but this is a pain cream that you can put on to relieve pain. Um, and you can buy this in a CBD and a THC if you have a medical card or your state allows you to have medical marijuana. The other is a tincture. Um, and you can see on the, on the label of the tincture, there's lots of product information here. And that's what we're going to discuss um, toward the end of this. The tinctures look like this in a bottle with a, you know, they usually have a screw on cap with a little dropper. And based on those droppers, you can get relief. And it goes into the buccal or the sublingual under the tongue type symptom or um, on the, or part of the, that type part of the body to help that absorb um, better. Uh, this is an old product. And actually, this is the legal product. This is Marinol. Um, Marinol is, was, is legal in all 50 states. It's the THC component. It's only, it's only one cannabinoid, uh, which is THC. Uh, and basically, this is what a bottle of Marinol looks like. Um, they're little tiny round pills. And so, you know, people wonder what Marinol is. And it's basically synthetic THC. That's basically a 10 milligram capsule of Marinol. And so um, it's very expensive. Pharmacies don't want to cover the cost of that anymore. Um, unless you have very specific problems. And so it's become more difficult. I used to be on Marinol, and now it's become more difficult to get it because the insurance companies don't want to cover the condition I have. But that's what worked for me. And I had uh, migraines, um, intractable migraines with nausea and vomiting and severe nausea and vomiting. And I tried many antiemetics, and the only one that ever really worked was cannabis. And so, um, and it was in the form of Marinol at that time. And so the thing is, is now I'm at a very high end of the cannabis spectrum and can't find anybody to really help me. And so that's why I'm making some of these videos. So that you learn how to read the labels and you learn what the products are about. This next product I'm going to show you is Shatter. And you can also get, and this is what Shatter looks like. It comes in this little kind of, they, different ones come differently depending on the company. But this is what it looks like. It almost looks like glass. You can look right through it, actually, if you hold it up to the light. 
And so anyway, that's what chatter looks like. And then this is an RSO syringe, Russell Simpson oil. And this is probably your highest level edible in Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania doesn't sell edibles. They, this is the only way they sell it. You're not allowed to smoke marijuana in Pennsylvania. You're only allowed to vape it. And this is what a vape cartridge looks like. Um, and so you can vape it. You can use this. You, put, you can put that on a little cracker or a nut or a piece of avocado because the higher level of the fat content helps it go into the body quicker and absorb those and it goes through the liver quicker. And so anyway, this is, RSO is probably your most powerful um, along with um, chatter. And if you have a really bad migraine, something like that, these are the products to use. I'm going to go through a, a list of uh, an actual product list of a label. And we're just going to go briefly through it. I'm not going to cover every single solitary one but we're gonna go through that list at this point in time. So if you look at this product list, and this particular product is for something known as Honey Pie, known as, uh, by Cresco. Uh, it's an Indica brand, the THC is 84.59%. Um, that's basically showing your, that's your THC. Um, that's your tetrahydrochloride cannabinoid. And then CBD is 0.21%. Um, THCA 0.40%. THCA is a non-psychoactive component of THC, but often when that THC is heated, it can become an active component once, it, once it's warmed. Um, there is something also known as TH, uh, THCV, um, and if you see down further on the list, it's like one of the first products in that THC listing further down. Um, under the description. And the way they describe this product, they describe this product really not as a medical product, but more as a product that, you know, uh, you're going to use for um, expression and, and enjoying me time. What does that have to do with pain and suffering and trying to get relief? Nothing. It's like making it sound like the products for going outside with your friends and having like a joint. That, you know, I don't know why they're writing it like that, but I can only tell you I'm a nurse, my wife's a nurse, and we're looking into basically doing um, consultations and things like that on this to help people try to understand what the things are in the component of the marijuana. So, um, the next thing to look at going down the list, as, and I'm just going to jump onto the terpenes, the CBDs are there, and you kind of know what CBD products are, and you can investigate some of that. CBD and product is actually a product that should be in there if you have uh, severe nausea, because it will help decrease nausea. But the first one we're going to look at is um, the eumeline. If you look at eumeline, 0.522%, that will suppress appetite, believe it or not won't make you have the munchies so much if there's a fairly high level, level in the product you're using it for. It's also an antibacterial, and it uh, relieves pain, and it's a powerful anti-inflammatory. That's eumeline. B pinene, which is next to it at 0.04. B pinene is a bronchodilator, believe it or not, and that's what gives... That's what gives it that earthy smell. If you ever smell that from a plant, you get that strong earthy smell. That means there's a pinene in there, or it smells like pine itself. Um, it's an antibiotic, and a lot of people don't realize that marijuana, cannabis, was used as a bronchodilator for asthmatic patients. And if it has enough pinene in it, you will find it will relieve you, it will relieve Asthmatic symptoms, believe it or not. Um, the next one, carophylline, uh, 0.39. Carline is an anti-inflammatory, uh, especially for autoimmune disorders. It inhibits tumor growth, excellent for cancers and things like that. Um, and so it's a wonderful product to have on board. If you have any of that kind of thing going on, it's also an anti, uh, antiseptic and an antibacterial and antifungal. 
And so when you have that in the product, um, it will help relieve those kinds of symptoms you are having. And then the uh, B mercerine, um, mercerine is an anti-diabetic. And so if you have a lot of uh, diabetic symptoms and you're taking the cannabis to try and help relieve some of that along with your diet, um, and diet is very important, uh, mercine can be very, very good for the, the person with diabetes. It's also an um, antibiotic. Um, and it, uh, it, it does reduce pain and spasms as well and, and is a good anti-inflammatory. Uh, limonene, limonene is, it reduces anxiety, reduces depression. It's an anti-inflammatory. It inhibits tu tumor growth and it will give that cannabis that sort of citrusy smell. And if you've ever had cannabis that has that strong citrus smell, it's showing it has a fair amount of limonene in it. And then linanol, uh, linanol reduces nausea. And it's a good thing to have if you have a lot of nausea and vomiting symptoms and you're taking cannabis for it. You want to find a product that has a fair amount of linen oil. Hopefully this helps you gain a little knowledge of what it's like on a marijuana label. They have to be on every product, whether it's medically legal or whether it's in the state um, itself and the whole state, it's legal, you know, the whole cannabis is legal in that state. Um, usually medically you can get different products. And so I am talking more to the medical community here than just, I'm not talking about using it for recreation. I'm talking about the medical aspect of cannabis and its usage that way, and mainly to alleviate pain and suffering. It's a wonderful product to overcome alcoholism. It's a wonderful product to overcome the opioids and get off of opioids and other products like that. There's so many uses for it that we're just not looking at and scientifically studying because it's still a Schedule One product. If there's something you feel I can help you with, to ha you have a complicated case, you feel that you would like me to help you in it, you can certainly write to me in the comments here and or my email, which I will have on the on the page itself, and you can email me with that particular thing. And I'm happy to do a consult as I'm learning this. Uh, we're, we're going through uh, basically a six-month program, and we're probably a quarter of the way through that so far. And so I'm happy to try to work with people who want some uh, diagnostic kind of work to see what is the best product for them. So please leave me comments if you like, and I will try to work that out and work that through to uh, help you and find the right product to suit you. With that being said, I wish you a wonderful day. I hope if you do use cannabis, you can find that it's really a wonderful product to relieve pain and suffering in the body and help bring you back to more of that um, homeostasis. There is a whole cannabinoid system that lies within you that hasn't really been worked with scientifically for years and years and years. Um, at one time, it was legal in the United States before the 1940s, but was eventually classified as a scheduled one drug with, with no medical value whatsoever. So anyway, I wish you a good day. May you see the light within yourself and within all others. And have a blessed and wonderful day.